Hello everyone, this is Teacher Homework Lee, and today I'm going to share with you a math challenging question from my student. The question is about three light bulbs A, B, and C. And light bulb A flashes every 20 seconds, light bulb B flashes every 45 seconds, and light bulb C flashes every 120 seconds. Now the three light bulbs start flashing at the same time. So the question is asking you, in an hour, how many times the three bulbs will flash together? So think about it, and I will explain the answers later on. Okay, so do you have any ideas on how to solve this problem? Okay, so now let's look at the method one by one. You should know that this question is testing you on the concept of LCM, the least common multiple. And I'm going to share with you three methods. The first method is about short division. You can see on the screen, I've already listed out the steps of the short division. First, you can put the free number of seconds, the 20, the 45, and the 120 on the first row. Okay, now you think about what is the common factor of the three numbers on the first row. 20, 45, and 120. Okay, the answer is 5. So you just write a 5 on the left hand side of 20. Okay, so now we do the division one by one. 20 divided by 5, the answer is 4. So you write a 4 under the 20. 45 divided by 5, the answer is lie. So you write a lie under 45. And 120 divided by 5, the answer is 24. So you write a 24 under 120. So now you can see that the three numbers 4, lie, and 24 are in the second row of the short division. Okay, so now you think about is there any common factor of the three numbers on the second row? 4, 9, and 24. Okay, you should be able to load that there is low common factor for the three numbers. Since we are now doing the LCM, so actually we can think about is there any common factor for two of them? And we can see that 4 and 24 should have a common factor of 4. So we now write a 4 on the left hand side of the 4. Okay, so now we do the division one by one. 4 divided by 4, the answer is 1. So you write a 1 under the 4. And 9 divided by 4, oh, okay, this is not divisible. So actually, we just write the original number, lie, under the line, okay. So for 24 divided by 4, the answer is 6. So you write a 6 under the number 24, and now you have formed the third row. Now we should think about is there any common factor for the three numbers on the third row, 1, 9, and 6. So Actually, there is low common factor for three numbers at the same time. So we just think, is there any common factor for two of them? 
So it is very easy. You can see, actually, nine and six should have a common factor of three. So we now write a three just on the left hand side of the one. So now we do the division one by one. One divided by three, it is not divisible. So actually, we just write the original number, the one below the number one. Okay. And 9 divided by 3, the answer is 3. So we just write the answer 3 under the number 9. And 6 divided by 3, the answer is 2. So we just write the answer 2 under the number 6. So we now get the fourth row. The fourth row is 1, 3, and 2. So is there any common factor of these three numbers? The answer is 1. 1 is the common factor of these three numbers. The only common factor. So, actually, if we divide these three numbers by 1, the answer is the same. 1 divided by 1 is 1. 3 divided by 1 is 3. 2 divided by 1 is 2. So actually, we don't need to do this step anymore. So we just stop the short division here. And how to find the LCM? So you look at my steps. You should see there are six numbers in the shape of L outside the frame of the LCM on the most left-hand side. Now we read the numbers one by one from the top to the bottom. So the numbers are 5, 4, 3, 1, 3, and 2. So we now multiply these six numbers together to get the answer of LCM. So 5 times 4 times 3 times 1 times 3 times 2, the answer is 360. 360. So this is the method 1. So we already got the answers. Okay? Okay, the second method is listing. You list the multiples of the three numbers one by one. For the first number, 20, the first multiple of it is 20, because 20 times 1 is 20. That is the first multiple, okay? 20 times 2 is 40. 40 is the second multiple. Okay, got it? So you just list 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and then so on, until it reaches the number of 400. And for the second number, 45, Similarly, you just list the multiples of it. 45, 90, 135, 180, and then so on. Until it reaches the number around 400. Okay. For the third number, 120, since it is a large number, so you just list several multiples. That is all right. 120, 240, 360, and 480. Then we stop. Okay, so now we check for the three numbers. Is there any common multiple? Okay, and we should find the smallest one because we are now finding the least common multiple, LCM. We should find the smallest one, okay? So you should be able to find out the least common multiple is also 360. Same with the answer in method 1. Okay, now let's move on to the third method, the prime factors method. So for the three numbers, you should think about their own prime factors. Say, for example, for the number 20, you can write it in the format of 
two times two times five. Okay, for the number forty-five, you can write it as three times three times five. And for the final number one hundred and twenty, you can write it as two times two times two times three times five. Please look that I have written down the prime factors in the way shown on the screen. We just put the same prime factors under the same column. Okay, so now we just put the prime factors one by one, no matter if we piece or lot. So every column, we just write down a prime factor. Then finally, we just multiply all these prime factors together, and you will get. The same answer, three hundred and sixty. Okay, so now we try to finish this question because ah、uh, the question is asking you in an hour how many times the three bulbs will flash at the same time. So in an hour, there are ah、uh, sixteen minutes. And in each minute, there are sixty seconds, right? So how many seconds are there in an hour? It should be sixty times sixty. That is three thousand and six hundred seconds in an hour. Okay. So we just do the simple division right now. We use the three thousand six hundred seconds. Divide the three hundred and sixty seconds that we just got from the three methods. Okay, so three thousand six hundred divided by three hundred and sixty, the answer is ten. That means in an hour, the three bulbs will flash at the same time for ten times. For ten times, this is the final answer. So thank you for your listening, and if you are interested in my course, you can enroll in my course, and I will help you. I will try my best to help you. Thank you.